I'll get the multigrain, please. Do you want me to slice them for you? Ah, uh, no, that's okay. Okay. And, and then the fruit and nut as well. guys and welcome to today's what i eat in a day feels like it's been a while since i've done one of these so i'm so excited to share some new recipes with you guys some of my current favorite staples and this morning I actually started off with a trip to the bakery to get two different kinds of bread i've been absolutely obsessed with this fruit and nut bread i go to la brea bakery here in los angeles and it's so good it's fresh baked it smells wonderful it's made like that day so scored the last one of these. Like I said, it has fruits and nuts in it, so you can have it sweet or savory. It can go either way, which we love. And then I also got a huge loaf of multigrain bread. I'm thinking I'm gonna start off this breakfast with an avocado toast with this bread, some hard-boiled eggs, because I've been craving them like crazy lately. Um, and I haven't actually made hard-boiled eggs in probably years. So one slice of this bread with avocado and then hard-boiled eggs on the side and some curry couscous, which has been a new obsession of mine lately. I actually got it from Mendocino Farms. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's this really good restaurant here in Los Angeles. I'm going to have some of that on the side as well. I feel pretty hungry today. All done. I could not be more excited to introduce you guys to the sponsor of today's video because the most common topic that I'm sure you all know on this channel, aside from healthy recipes, is intuitive eating. And I've never had a place that I could point you guys to and say, hey, this is actually something that's going to help you learn how to intuitively eat again. Which I think a lot of us who have been in the midst of diet culture kind of lose. Even though we are born with the ability to intuitively eat, we lose it from tracking our macros, our calories, all the things that I personally dealt with for so long. It really affected my relationship with food, my relationship with my body. I'm so grateful for the ability to intuitively eat, but it took me a very long time to get there. So I'm so excited to introduce you guys to 10% Happier, which is actually a mindfulness and meditation app. There are so many courses on the app and so many of them are extremely relatable. I mean, I 
every time I scroll through it, I'm like, wow, I need to listen to this, I need to listen to this. Um, I've really been interested in meditating. However, in the past, meditation was always something that just seemed really, really intimidating to me. And I would go through phases of trying it and then falling off, trying it and falling off because I felt like I didn't really resonate to the things that that they were saying and um, I feel like I finally can. I find their courses not only really easy to understand but also I relate to them so much, especially the Anti-Diet Challenge by Christy Harrison. I love this course so much. She is a registered dietitian and I feel like she has so much insight into intuitive eating. It's just a seven day challenge and I feel like it just kind of helps you transform your outlook on food, your outlook on yourself and on life and like what you want from life and why you even got into health and fitness in the first place. So just such a wonderful, wonderful resource to have. I'm so glad that this app exists. I didn't know that it existed before, but I'm, I just feel like it couldn't fit any better on my channel and honestly just in my life. I think a lot of meditation apps and I think a lot of why meditation just doesn't resonate with a lot of people is because we're a little bit too practical. And what I found with this app is practicality. So in order to redeem your one month free trial with the 10% Happier app, you can go to 10percent.com slash Mariana and you'll have access to very simple exercises that will help you with your daily challenges. I am so excited for this partnership. I hope that you guys are as well. And if you end up trying out the app, please let me know what you think. I just got out of the shower and I'm still trying to figure out how to style my hair. I'm feeling just a little bit hungry right now, not too much because my breakfast was pretty big, but it is lunchtime and I am heading off to a coffee shop that their food menu is insanely expensive. It's my favorite coffee shop here in LA, it's side class, you guys see me there all the time, but I will be the first to tell you that every time I buy food there, I'm like, did this really just cost me my soul? I'm going to be smart today. I'm going to make myself a little snack right now, even though I'm not too hungry. My favorite snack as of lately has just been a bowl of oatmeal, and then I add some yogurt to it, some mixed nuts, chia seeds, hemp seeds, granola. I did rolled oats, and then I also added the super porridge oats. I've never tried them before. I just opened them up, but it sounded really good. It has almonds, goji berries, hemp seeds, and... Um, some vegan protein in it. It also has coconut sugar in it, which I love adding that to my oatmeal. So I mixed all of that. It has a really great consistency, in my opinion. I know everyone's different when it comes to oatmeal. I get questions on this yogurt every time that I use it. So this one's from Coco June. It's a vegan yogurt. I get it at, they have it at um, Sprouts. They have it at Air One, which is really expensive. So I try not to go there. Sprouts is my go-to for it. And usually they have bigger tubs of it, but this is the only one that they had. So I will add this on top of the oatmeal. I love the consistency of this yogurt. The ingredients are amazing. It's organic coconut, spring water, cassava root, and vegan probiotic cultures. It's really great for your gut. I'm going to do some raspberries and also blueberries. My absolute favorite granola. I usually prefer a different flavor. This one's cinnamon peanut butter. I'm not huge on peanut butter to be honest, but have it. I'm going to use it up, so I'm going to do a little bit of that right on top. That's going to be my little lunch for today. I actually went to an event two days ago, and they were handing out creation smoothies, so I got one to go. Um, I got this one to go, and I also got a green juice to go. Now, this tastes like absolute trash, but I'm going to drink it because I feel like I haven't been eating as many vegetables as I normally do um, in terms of like variety, so I'm going to have this. And then I'm also gonna have a few sips of this as well. Also, this goes without saying, but I just wanna make sure since this is a full day of eating, I am not a huge fan of green juices. I would much rather just eat a lot of vegetables and have it in the form of like soup or salad or even a smoothie actually, because then you're still getting your fiber. But you know, sometimes for convenience purposes, it is there. I'm gonna have it, um, but for the most part, I do try to have it in a form of food. That way I get all of the micronutrients.
you're wondering why the rice is a little bit yellow, it's because I actually added about a tablespoon of olive oil to it. I got the tip from my grandma. 